Okay, another spellcaster. That one's an offensive spellcaster, so... Defend. All right, let's try double slash and then. Oh, ninja, that's not good. Um because ninjas have the assassinate abilities, so because the ninja and the spellcaster is a problem. Um I <clears throat> should hopefully Okay, good. So now I'm gonna do double slash on the ninja. Um and we're gonna do a restrict shot. To the uh, lower HP guys, and then send the ninja to fight a ninja. Okay. Cross the drawbridge. Down this way. With the with jewels. Ring, it's so shiny. Hey, hey, this is rare. I figured that somebody of high social status has nice things. Pretty, give it to me. 
No way, I've already found it. This is mine. Getting the collapsed underground temple was hard work, you know. If you want one, go look yourself. As you grimaced at their screeching voices, the pixies noticed you. Look, adventurers! We've got lots of pretty stuff. Give us some stuff, pretty stuff, and your life! The pixies have attacked me. Okay. Actually, are they just regular pixies? At least regular pixies. I'm high enough level, I could just rush them. That was a mistake. Uh, in retrospect, the mistakes were made by the Pixies. Ring, of course, the Pixies is something engraved in the inside of the ring. My beloved Otelier, L.A. It would be Queen Otelier's ring, but why is it here? At your that moment of uncertainty, your memory grew hazy. I remember this ring. She was so happy with this ring on her hand. What did she say? She said, The ring is full of fond memories. Memories that have long ago got long gone and can never be replaced. The person who gave me this ring no longer exists. I'll never be able to see those eyes full of kindness. This person disappeared after giving me the ring, and I, in place of that person, I was given an outstanding guard. But to touch this ring, I remember that memory, a memory from many years ago, as if it were yesterday. Memories come back so vividly. You come to your senses, your cock that's called out to you. Still too early to drink. Smiled wryly as you put the ring away. Okay, from the entertainment center, Miss Kitty. Got the Queen's ring. Alright. Um, how am I doing for Okay, so I have space in my inventory for items. That's important. Um Untrapped chest, let's take that. Hey, a uh, throwing knife, okay. Move the lift, move the lever, yes. And that raised the drop rate, so I have access to that stuff on level two. <clears throat> okay. This gets me back out on this side here when I came in. Okay. 
And now we get to the get to this boss fight, and they'll probably call it after this. All right, let's see how it goes. So. All right. Uh All right. So we're going to hand over and I'm going to hand over the rotten Jurgen. You have some rotten meat as well. You have rotten meat in inventory. I'm going to hand over blood to you. The strange noise is something is being dragged. But it is? Yes. You heard beast-like grunts approaching. The game of the, ster the stereo was a group of the undead. Something different about the undead. The undead, until now, always had living beings, but they were just gazing at you presently. The undead started walking fearfully with their arms stretched forward, and then they started falling like marionettes that had gotten their strings cut. Our wicked feeling was expanding rapidly. This was like a breath of darkness. There was something different in general about this feeling than before. Suddenly, hate blew upwards in the form of a hot wind. The sound was given up a burnt smell and emitted an eerie light. Something was trying to change in substance. Something definitely... It was definitely something evil. Reaper! Oh my. That's not good. All right. So. Okay, out action. You two both have magic weapons, so you are going to spell cancel. Um, spell actions. Use rot each of you use the rotten meat on yourself. You can damage the undead, and. Trying to spell the zombies.
One of the zombies is down, good. And everybody else's damage up, okay. Okay. Spell cancel, keep doing that. Defensive, double slash on you two. Double slash on the Reaper. Okay, now that just leaves the Reaper itself. All right. Spell cancel. Back attack. Curdo. Oh, there goes the healing staff. Okay. Okay, so it looks like um, back attack only works when the enemy attacks. We'll do a melee attack. Okay. Let's do double slash then. Okay. Can I dispel the Reaper? I missed entirely. That's okay. Spell does not work on the Reaper. Good to know. Keep doing the spell cancel. Don't want the Reaper casting any spells. Uh, double slash. And then... Buff everyone's agility. All right. Okay. Nope, okay. So magic attacks don't work on him. So that's be melee. 
All right. Got it. <sighs> nice. Starbuck was unbelievably silent compared to the fierce battle that just occurred a moment ago. What the heck was that? I've seen a lot of monsters, but that was a first. I'm still getting the chills. I feel like I was stuffed in the coffin throughout the whole battle. I'm gonna have nightmares for a while. During the battle, he was throwing all these negative thoughts at me. Sadness, hatred, anger. So many emotions were flowing from him. I think the souls of the dead are gathered inside of it. This is not a monster. It's, it is death itself. Maybe the Reaper has something to do with this labyrinth? I it's the smell, but I felt negative thoughts of destruction from it. It was very similar from the bad vibes I get from this labyrinth. I feel like its evilness has stuck all over my body. Whatever it is, I wouldn't want to see it again. I haven't really beaten it. It just vanished. I mean, part of it is probably somewhere deep inside this labyrinth. Maybe a mission that was sent from God. This may be a mission that was sent from God. Flash, the countless monsters and the incineration of death. It, it just seems like we're all in, just in a bad dream. It's not like we're going to wake up out of it. Well, with that out of the way, let's explore. There's a chest over here that's worth our time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.